Hello everyone, welcome back to channel Geek Nepal. Today we'll be working on the counter function. As name implies, counter is used to count. Uh, counter to add up the signals or to subtract the signals. For, a, for an example, in automation industry, if somebody is making a pizza and the pizza is be, being moved to the outfit using the conveyor line, you can sense the pizza and you can count the number of pizza being produced. Let's say in a car parking area, the number of cars that is being entered to the parking area and that is getting exit from the parking area can can be counted using up and down counter okay let's begin by adding a normally open contact let's define this open contact as a manual reset button okay and let's draw a line from here to here so we have more space to work on let's add a counter cnt add up counter okay and let's define this counter is set to preset value of 5 okay let's, mm, and let's move let's move the current counter value okay to data register 1 c0002 we want to move that to um, data register 0 okay already we did that now every time it gets a trigger that's when it will be counted right so let's add a proximity switch that senses the product okay and let's define this um, proximity switch something is coming in it senses and it will count okay let's add a line from here to here okay save already the number here is some numbers that was stored before okay this it will count up the next time it senses one more three now manually reset it okay now again one two three four five so once the counter is set to reach to five it moved the current counter to data register one okay already now let's append this layer line we also want to reset the counter sometime automatically okay not just manual reset okay in such case let's do this here okay and let's use some kind of memory bit uh, auto reset okay Alrighty, so how do we activate this auto reset is let's say let's add a system ready when the system is ready let's say when the system is ready okay okay we'll add a timer okay timer that is let's say 30 seconds timer Okay, 30 seconds, okay, and already, and this will be a memory relay, internal relay, okay, auto reset, okay, so let's simulate it one more time, manually reset this, so it goes to zero, when the system is ready, the timer is timing once. Let's count it. Oh, let's remove the manual reset. Let's add the proximity. 
so it's two here when the timer timed out it will reset this counter okay that's how this bit will be activated and it resets back to zero okay let's close this one more time let's see we want to go here we want to do up and down counter now okay let's do that um, do I have enough space let's actually um, add a manual leave reset again one more time Still C B okay and We'll draw a line from here to here one more time and add a add a counter. Okay. So it has an up counter and down counter, okay? You need to, we need to provide two triggers, trigger for up and trigger for down, okay? one more let's connect this as well okay so let's say this up counter once when the proximity is on it'll, the counter will add up and the proximity is the out okay it will subtract the counter okay now let's add a move instruction here where we will hold on. let's define this counter as well this counter c2 let's do 2 okay preset 2 7 let's do that okay and this the current value of counter current counter zero zero two move that to data register two okay okay now let's simulate this okay manually reset let's manually reset this this seven already it will add up if you see that right and if you do this it will decrease the counter okay that's how the up and down counter works in the car parking lot area you'll be using up and down counter for counting the number of bottles being produced you will be using the add up counter okay that's how the counter is programmed in IDIC ladder logic Thank you so much for your time. If you enjoy my channel, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much already. Bye.